Welcome to our MTI TV product spotlight on Ultraflex LFD. Today I'm here with Brian Pastolka, who is our product line manager for tile and stone installation products. Welcome, Brian. What does this particular mortar do? It does almost everything, Dan. Ultraflex LFT is my go-to mortar. When I'm not sure which mortar to use, it's great for big tile, little tile, ceramic tile, porcelain tile, and most stone on both floors and walls. All right, now that seems like kind of a tall order for a mortar, so how does it all work? Uh, we start with a very good cement. When you add water to a cement mortar, the cement crystals start to form and interlink. Think of your fingers like the cement crystals. These little cement crystals link with each other and reach into every little hole on the substrate and tile to lock into place. All right, so all you really need to get a good bond is cement, is that what we're saying? Um, cured cement doesn't like movement. It will crack and break. To control that, we add polymer. Polymer gets between these little spikes of cement and cushions them, and when they move, polymer adds some flexibility and creates an adhesive bond. The addition of adhesive components allows the mortar to bond better to dense surfaces, such as porcelain tile, that don't have those nooks and crannies. All right, so Ultraflex LFT, it's a polymer-modified cement-based mortar. What else is in the bag? Uh, we add extenders that allow you to install Ultraflex LFT from as thin as 3 32nd of an inch all the way up to a half inch. That means it's perfect for what the industry calls large format tiles, tiles with one side that is 15 inches or longer. It's also great for heavy tile that weigh more than five pounds per square foot. Wouldn't a heavy tile want to slide down the wall though? Uh, typically, yes, but Ultraflex LFT is designed to keep tiles where you put them, horizontally as well as vertically. We've tested to make sure it doesn't let a standard porcelain tile move more than about 1 64th of an inch. That's one requirement to get a T rating in ANSI. All right, any places where we wouldn't want to use this mortar? Uh, a few, but they're worth mentioning. You wouldn't want to use this with glass tile. It's not moisture sensitive stones that can curl uh, when they are wet on one side. For all of these places to use it and not use it, see our latest technical data sheet. Well, great, Brian. Thank you so much for the information on Ultraflex LFT. Do you